Welcome everybody, let's talk about the stock market. These are the S&P 500 futures. These are December contracts, we're looking at the weekly, we'll look at the daily, and we'll look at the trade of the day. So here on the weekly chart, you can see this is the candlestick right here. First day of the week. Yep, range of 54. Nice day, nice week so far. Um, I think we reached the bottom last week. I really do, I think that was it right there. Um, Though the weekly chart long term, it's 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 gonna do that. We might get this, we might even get higher, whatever. Okay. Probably going in here to the new year, and then it's gonna give it up. So you might see something kind of like that, maybe something like this. Okay. I think that's what's gonna happen long term. You're gonna see this thing. I just don't think you can stop this so easily. And I don't think this is just going to start clamming up and just turn up like that. I don't think so. This is going to take a while to recover. Maybe way over here. So long term, that's my thoughts on what I think the market's going to do. Uh, bounce for a little bit and then down into the beginning parts of 2024, maybe something like this. Okay. Let's take a look at the daily. Okay, so you'll, you'll notice, uh, let me get the daily drawing. You'll notice I don't have the universe on here because uh, I'm not going to show that to non-members. Okay, I, once in a while I'll show it just, you know, kind of as a promotional thing. Uh, but if you didn't watch my videos from last week, uh, you probably should go back and watch it because the universe indicator has been extremely valuable. So I want to say to the members right now, make sure that you... Uh, check your nightly emails because I'll have the S&P 500 chart attached to the email and have the universe indicator on there. All right. And um, also uh, make sure you take a look at the streaming charts. The one hour I put, um, I've been keeping the hourly cycles on there, which they could change because we're kind of in this I think we're in this transition phase. The market's going to bounce. So the one hour cycles could change, but for now I'm going to leave them the way they are. I got two cycles on there. And I think the green cycles might be the more, more uh, prevalent cycle coming up, but we haven't really gotten stable on what the hourly chart's going to do just yet. And just be aware that when the market bounces, those pullbacks that we were getting for the whole month of October, you might not see those. You might not get those big pullbacks on the hourly chart, they might just be small little pullbacks. And that's okay too, because that tells you uh, where to take your little pause or potentially get out of your trades and then reposition yourself for going long again, perhaps, right? So there's, you gotta know how to use the hourly chart both in bear and bullish situations. All right, so that's for the members. For the general public, let's continue on with the video here. So the daily chart, um, you know, we got this, October 25th date, which we pa is passed now. Uh, I think this was the 26th, this candlestick right here, yeah, 27th. So pretty good for the cycle low. I think that was it right there. We hit it within a day or two. Spot on, this cycle looks like it absolutely nailed it. The next one's November 15th, which is this green one right here. And um, which, which kind of plays into the middle of this cycle, which that's about November 14th. So that makes perfect sense to me. It'd be common to see a cycle kind of fade right here in the middle. And then the next one after that is, is this little green right here is the 10th. And I think this, this yellow one over here is the 12th. So they're really close to each other. So December 10th and 12th, we'll see what happens there. And I'm not going to talk too much further out in that because we just have to see how the winter, to, winter months go here, November, December, January. And we'll just update this as we go along. Okay. Clearly, you can see a little bouncy bounce going on here. I think we're going to get some more bounce. Probably going to happen. MACD's kind of running out of gas down here. Um, yeah, that was my thoughts kind of on the on a kind of a daily cycle. I think we are going to get a bounce. I think it's going to start riding up. And um, we'll see what this thing does. Um, the 42.62, yeah, I think that's going to happen. I do. I think it's going to get above this. Maybe not exactly right away, but it's going to happen. We might get it like a big day like this. See this big green day like this? A big, huge green day. 
Now, will tomorrow be a down day? Look at the future story. So will it be a red day? It could be. You know, it could be also get sideways here for a little while. Get some chop, choppy chopping here. But I think the low is in, and I think the market's going to start making its way up. Just, you know, again, this is the market. Things don't just go straight up and stay straight up. You know, you can see over here, it, look, it came up for a day. It had a red day, had a big green day, a big red day, and then it took off. You see that? Now, I'm not saying that's what this is going to do this time, but you just have to understand the market is, it rarely is just straight up or just straight down, you know. So just be ready for some, some possible, like little, some, um, Maybe I don't want to say consolidation here, though it could do that, but just some whips on here, maybe a little bit before it really gets foothold and takes off. We'll just have to see how this plays out. Sometimes it, it comes in strong and starts taking off. Sometimes it takes a few days. Either way, I think the market is going to start making its way up now. The data is suggesting that that's what's going to happen. Okay, let's look at the trade of the day. You know, some people may ask, well, why do you do the trade of the day? What is that all about? Well, that shows both encourages the members as well as let me turn on the uh let me turn on the get us plus encourages the members plus anybody who's thinking about becoming a member all right so here we are on the 15 minute chart which by the way this gets streamed to the members the five minute the 15 minute and the one hour all get streamed to the members and here it is right here straight of the day super super simple it's actually last night okay i think it was last night let me just check this yeah 8 15 last night but that's part of today Sunday night's part of Monday. Look at this. Bam. Beautiful. Okay, look at this. Just, just the MACD had just kind of crossed over, stayed above the zero line all through the night. I mean, that is the trade. Let's look at the five-minute chart because I think there's one on there too, but this was, this was it. This trade right here was it. Super nice. Not quite, not as obvious. You know, a lot of people would not be able to pick up on that trade and say, wow, why was that um, such a good trade? Uh, I don't think a lot of people would have expected that to be such a good trade last night, but it was. It was an awesome trade. Okay, so, I mean, there's there's a two. I mean, this, this is typical when we see... First thing I want to talk about here on the five minute chart as we continue to talk about the trade of the trade of the day here. Um, this section right here is very typical when the market's making a switch over from, you know, um, bearish to bullish. And I don't mean like we're going from a bear market to a bullish market. I just mean, you know, the the um, the short term trend right now is going to be it looks like it's going to switch from uh, bearish to bullish for a little bit here. Okay. And this is typical. You get this this congestion, this whipsaw, back and forth, back and forth. Very typical. Look at this from about whatever, 9.30 this morning all the way to like 12.30. It's totally typical. Don't even trade it. What a, what a mess. Don't even trade this trash. And so here is the trade of the day, two trades a day on this five-minute chart. 7.45 a.m. It's Texas time. And this was the easiest one of the day of the trade right here. Look at this thing. Down at the very bottom, MACD below the zero line. It curls up. That's it. You're in the trade. It goes all the way up. This thing ran for about uh, 20 points. So again, at least 15. This is easy 15 points. It's just, just such a solid run. No reason not to pick up a minimum of 15 points here. Just as clean as clean gets. Okay, and the MACD just follows suit. Super, super simple trade right here, guys and gals. Those are the trades you're looking for. Even if you were in a little late, which would have been about right here, above the moving averages, that's okay too. Maybe pick up 12, 13 points, maybe a little bit more there. Okay. But this was this was so easy, this trade. You even had a little candlestick right there helping you out to let you know that that was the bottom. Okay. You should really know your candlestick patterns, your individual candlesticks, okay, in addition to everything else I'm showing you here, okay? Now, the next one that was really good really was this one right here. And, I'll, I, and for members, for the members who are watching this video, remember I said data was showing that we were going to have a change in the market. It was first, it was four days in a row. Then it was five days in a row. And today I put on the Discord server six days in a row. You should be watching the Discord server as well. I, I said data is starting to show the market's going to change. And that was four, five, six days ago. I said the market's going to swing and we're going to get, we're going to see the market begin to get uh, bullish. That's how far ahead that forecast was. <laughs> okay. 
that universe and certainty rate is just banging. All right, so here's the one in the afternoon that was so solid. Eleven. Uh, this was actually eleven fifty a.m. Okay, just before lunchtime, just before noon. But it was it was exactly the same as in the morning. The exact same type of setup. It comes in right here. I mean, you know from the from my my thoughts and all emails at every night of the week. You know, I think the market's going to go bullish. And what does this thing do? As soon as it starts curling up, that's it. You're in. It was the same thing that happened over here. Same exact thing. You're in. Right? If you want to wait a little bit, that's okay too. MACD comes in a little bit later. I mean, that to me, that's waiting a little too long. I just wait for it to curl up right here. You get the signal. You're ready to go. Another great run. You either can get out right there or play a little, a little bit further. Okay? This was such a great run. This was at least another 15, 20 points pretty easily. Okay, I only think 15 there, at least 15 there. That's being conserved. That's 30 points today. You should have been trading long today. There's just no way to put it. Yes, there is a short side opportunity there, but and I'm not saying you shouldn't take it. But data, like I said, was pointing that the market's going to change and start going long. You want to be starting to trade with, you want to start trading with the forecasted trend, right? So just get into your mind right now. The data is really starting to suggest the market's going to start bouncing and go up. Doesn't mean you can't have pullback days. So be aware of that. But I'll actually, like I said, you know, I think I like a swing trade here and not necessarily just intraday stuff. But anyway, I'll leave that to, up to the individual traders. Those two are the, including the 15 minute chart earlier, but these two right here on the five minute chart were the really the great trades of day. This one right here and this one right here were really awesome. All right, so if you want the universe indicator that you know I don't show to the public, the certainty rate that I don't show to the public, the hourly chart with the cycles that I don't show to the public, I don't show them to the public because the members are paying for this, right? Can't get freebies to the public. Okay, if you want all that, plus the nightly emails that I send out, okay, plus the streaming charts, the members get five minute, 15 minute, and one hour, okay? You want everything I talk about when you hear in these videos, I'm talking to the members and it's only members only stuff and they only get that on the Discord server, right? It's not available to the public. $7.99 a month. Okay, um, there's a link in the description below this video. Just make sure you read it very carefully, right? So you don't have any problems joining. It's gonna bring you over to this server, get a server, and then click on server shop. You're gonna get this page right here, $7.99 per month. Seven dollars and ninety nine cents a month. Okay, many of the members are just they don't even think about the seven ninety nine a month. Okay, they're just making they're making really good money, and that's the membership is paid for itself for years to come, or perhaps for the rest of their life. They don't think about it. And my opinion about all this is, join. I would spend three months. You know, prepared to been spend twenty five bucks over three months. Okay. And I wouldn't even trade the first month. I would just watch the videos, look at the streaming charts, get to understand the, the get us plus indicator, watch the hourly chart. Okay. Um, of course those, the get us plus indicator sends the, uh, sends that as an alert over to this channel for the members. So not only do they get the streaming chart and they get us plus indicator on the streaming charts, but they also get alerted here. Okay. So really super nice. And I talked about nightly emails. So if you're going to become a member, put your email in the, in the emails only channel, you'll get the nightly emails. Okay, there's also alerts coming for gold, crude, oil, and alerts are coming for the top 30 stocks for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. And then occasionally we'll get like uh, daily only stuff, which would be more like for swing trades. You might get a similar two in there a day. Some days you do, some days you don't. If this these channels though, they're they're getting symbols all day long, five days a week coming in here. And then premium symbols at the end of each day, I put out premium premium symbols. This is the same logic that the get us plus indicator is using. I also use that logic to go get symbols at the end of the day. You're gonna see futures in there, you're gonna see stocks that, that are optionable. You'll see those symbols in there. And there's some other these are basically files, and here you'll see some files with symbols in there. You can use those symbols to trade. I, I I look at them. I trade a lot of futures, but if you want to trade stocks, you can trade stocks too, the options on the stocks. 
Okay. Occasionally I do some fixed income, I buy some corporate bonds, some other things, and I'll, I'll drop things in there. All right. So there's a lot of stuff going on in here in this, uh, and, and occasionally I'll even trade currency. Like I, I might trade the euro or the British pound or the Aussie dollar or the Canadian. I made some money early this year on the Canadian dollar. I've really made some nice bank on that. So th these aren't, you know, I don't trade this as often, but I do trade it occasionally. So that's all for $7.99 a month, okay? Like I said, if you come in, in my opinion, be patient. I'd give it a month or two. Don't be in a hurry. Don't do all in trades. Once you get an idea of how to use the service, I would do some really small positions, start making a little bit of bank, get used to making a little bit of profit, understand risk management, because that's really critical to make sure you've got your stop losses in place at bare minimum, okay? understand trailing stops, things like this. Do all that. I think you're going to become a really, really good trader. If you come into the service, and you're going to try to do the all in trading and do all that. Yeah. I don't think that's the way to go. I think you're just going to get disappointed. All right. So just be patient. I think you'll do really well. Okay. Video is getting kind of long. Happy trading, everybody. God bless everybody. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.